Donut charts can waste a lot of space if you're not using the center. And a great way to make the most of it is by adding a legend right in the middle. You can even include key metrics about the categories. I'm going to start off by creating a basic donut chart, and I'll do this the quickest way I know how. Start by double clicking on a dimension like segment, and then double click on a measure like sales. Then in the top right, I'll click show me and choose a pie chart. To get the donut effect, we just need to put a circle in the middle of the pie chart. So I'll type zero into the columns twice. And for the first mark, we already have a pie. But for the second mark, I want to change this to a circle. Then I can remove all the things in the second mark. And to get the circle on top of the pie, I'll right click on the sum of zero and make this a dual axis. Then you can decrease the size in the second mark to make the circle smaller than the pie. And you can mess around with sizing to control the thickness of the ring of the donut chart. Then I'll change the color of our circle to be the same color as my background. For formatting, I'll first remove the headers. Then I'll format the worksheet. And for shading, I'm going to choose none. Under borders, I'll remove the row and column divider. And for lines, I'll remove the zero lines for the sheet and the grid lines for the columns. To change the color of the segments within our donut chart, I'll edit the colors in the legend. And I'll quickly go through and assign a color to each segment value. To utilize the space within our donut chart, I'm going to add a legend in the center. So on this new worksheet, I'll start by adding segment to the rows. Then I'll add segment to the marks, and I want to change the mark type to a shape, and have the segment determine the shape. That way we get one shape for each segment. And you could do this with a circle mark and make segment the color, but I want to use these images I created in Canva for the segments. So I'll go to the shape palette, and I'll assign each segment one of these circle shapes I created that has the same color as our segments in our donut chart. Using the size slider, I can increase the size of these shapes. And right now you can see the segments are on the left side of our legend shapes, and I want to move them to the right. To do this, I'll add segment to the marks and make this text. Then I'll use label within the marks and center it to the right. So now when I open this up, you can see we have the segment text on the right of our legend shapes. And I also want to add the portions in here. So I'm going to move sales to the marks, right click, go to quick table calculation, and choose percent of total. Then I'll make this a label as well. I'll use label in the marks to edit the text again. And I want to move segments to the beginning and push all these back to the right. Then I'll make these Tableau regular, and I want the first line to be bold. And we don't need the text to the left anymore, so I'm going to right click and uncheck show header. Then I'll format the worksheet, and for shading, I'll change the sheet shading to none. For borders, I'll remove the row divider. That way we're left with just the legend. And now we can combine these on a dashboard. I'll start by bringing in our donut chart worksheet, and I'll hide the title and get rid of our legends. Then I want to set this worksheet to the entire view. And it looks like we're not utilizing all the space within our worksheet, so I'm going to go back to the donut chart worksheet and increase the size using the size slider. Then I'll adjust the circle by increasing it so that the size of the donut chart ring is smaller. And now it looks like it's filling up much better. To utilize the space inside the donut chart, I'll bring the donut legend worksheet on. I'll hide the title of the worksheet, and I want to set this to the entire view. Then I'll resize this and position it so it's in the center of our donut chart. The nice thing about this is we're not only utilizing all the space within our donut chart by putting the legend in the empty space, but we're also providing additional information. So now users can see the exact percentage for the colored sections of the donut chart's rings.